welcome you to Abhyas Institute of Education. So, in today's video, we will be learning more the transport, the ways of transport. It's a very easy topic, we will not waste much time. Let's just start quickly. Keep on repeating for the better pronunciation after me. So, the first is Voiture. Voiture. Which means car. Voiture. Second is tra. Tra. Which is train. Third is bato. Bato. Which is a ship. Then next we have velo. Velo. Which is a bicycle. Next we have Moto, moto, which is a motorbike. Then we have navit, navit, which is a rocket. Then next we have avion, which is airplane, avion. Then next we have pied, which means walking. Yes, we consider walking as a way of transport in French, pied. And the last is taxi. Taxi. It is a taxi or cab. So these were all the ways of transport. These are very easy. We will quickly do a revision of all the modes of transport. Let's start again. Avion. Keep repeating. Avion. Bato. Navet. Voiture. Velo. Moto, PA, Taxi and Tram. So how will we use these in the sentences? For using these, we will always have a preposition before it. So we are as in the middle of uh, the framing the sentences. So we should know where will we replace the preposition. We will place the preposition exactly before the word, the mode of transport. Now, which preposition? For this, we have two prepositions. A and on. A comes with all the vehicles on upon which we sit. For example, the scooters, the bikes, the bicycles and walking. And on comes for all the transports in which we sit. For example, en voiture, en bus, en tram. So the vehicles upon which we sit for are followed by a, and the uh, vehicles in which we sit, the preposition is en. But for avio and bato, we can also write par, which is by. To practice this a, en, and par, I have posted some exercises in the description below, which you can practice. And... Keep on revising the modes of transport and start framing the sentences using this. So this was the modes of transport. Keep practicing. Happy learning. Merci.